What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about farming companion gear. Now before I get started, companion gear does not have a guaranteed drop from anything anybody has found so far. So it's all going to be just based on, you know, a drop rate, which does seem to be very low. I have not had the best RNG with companion gear. I have been getting several pieces. A lot of it has been green and blue stuff uh, that have awful traits on that I do not need. I have not found a purple piece yet. Uh, hopefully that will happen soon. But there are several places that seem to be good ideas or good areas to farm in to be able to get companion gear to have a chance to drop. The first one being public dungeons. Uh, and of course now the Deadlands uh, Oblivion Portals do count as public dungeons, so I'm going to include them in this. I have found some companion gear off the hidden boss uh, in the last room before you get to the final boss in the Oblivion Portal and of course the final boss uh, itself. They both have chests that you can open up. I've been getting some companion gear from both of those. I've also been farming the public dungeons in Blackwood, been farming pu uh, public dungeons in other zones as well. The best thing to do is find a public dungeon that does not have a lot of people in it. We all know if there's a lot of people in a public dungeon, a lot of times the drop will be just gold because the bosses are getting farmed so quickly. But the public dungeons and uh, the oblivion portals is where I've had my best luck so far finding companion gear. Another place you can get them is four-man dungeons. A lot of people have been soloing these. Now I have soloed several four-man dungeons. I've only gotten one drop so far, but there are some people in my guild that have been getting some good drops out of four-man dungeons. Whether you solo them or go in with a group, either way, you do have a chance to get companion gear from that four-man dungeon. Just keep in mind, anything that's a boss, so whether it be a world boss, a public dungeon boss, a dungeon boss, um, any boss that's in the game, you're going to have a chance to get companion gear. There's a lot of different ways to get companion gear. I'm just trying to give you some ways that have a lot of different bosses around so you can have several uh, you know, chances to get something to drop. The next thing you could do would be uh, dolmens. Of course, you see me doing that right now. Uh, I have not got a single piece from dolmens yet, but a lot of people have been getting them from dolmens. A lot of people have been farming the dragons and elsewhere. Uh, a lot of people have been doing just any of the, uh, you know, the geysers in Somerset. Uh, anything that's, you know, kind of a a world event has a good chance of dropping. It. A lot of people have been farming them for just for that reason. Also, you can get them from your guild dailies. You need to be doing your guild dailies anyway to rank up your fighter's guild, your undaunted, and your mage's guild for your companions. But at the same time, it's going to send you to a puppet dungeon. It's going to send you to a delve. So you get to fight a boss in there. You might find some chests in there. You never know. Uh, you know, you might have some good luck and, and be able to pick up a few pieces from just doing those dailies every day. And if you do them on multiple characters, the better chance that you're going to have. And last but not least, doing all of this stuff is going to make you a lot of gold. Uh, you may be going out and farming a lot of this stuff, finding pieces in certain areas that are worth some money. So let's say if you're farming the puppet dungeon in Deshaun, for example, you may be getting a lot of Mother Sorrow pieces. You can turn around and sell those Mother Sorrow pieces, either in a guild trader or a zone chat, and make you some money. Uh, and the thing I'm trying to get to is you may end up having to buy some pieces that you need if you cannot get them to drop with the right trade. Now, I know they're expensive. You're looking at companion gear uh, on console right now on PS4 for some of the rings in purple. There are in the right traits for a healer or for a tank um, are going for about a million a piece. So it's going to be rough. Uh, it's going to cost a lot, but you can find some green and blue pieces for a good bit cheaper. So you may want to farm a few, uh, you know, farm all this stuff, make you some gold. If you need just a piece or so, you may have to go out and buy you a, a piece of green or a piece of blue just to kind of finish out your build until you can get purple gear that you need. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what kind of luck you've had farming companion gear. And, of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.